Can we all stand and just praise God? There is such a power of anointing in this house tonight. Jesus, we thank you today, God. God, we praise you today, Jesus. God, we thank you today, Lord. We praise you today, God. Jesus. Jesus. We'll take his time to thank Pastor Anthony and Elder Randy and Brother Josh. You know, these guys are amazing. You know, they're anointed. They're amazing people. I got one portion of scripture for you. It's out of Joshua. 620. So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard that sound of the trumpets, they shouted with a great shout. And the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city and every man straight before him and took that city. God laid this on my heart. I don't know. Elder Randy asked me to speak. It was like 10 minutes. I had this ready. Sounds to your miracle. Josh, will you pray? you guys are seated, just give him a hand clap. Give him a hand clap. The story of the walls of Jericho falling down in Joshua 6, 1 through 27 is one of the most powerful demonstrations of the miraculous power of God. See, the people of Israel had just crossed over the Jordan River and into the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey, which God had promised Abraham over 500 years before. After spending 40 difficult years wandering in the desert of Sion, the people of Israel were now on the eastern banks of the Jordan. They had one challenge. That's it. Take the land of Canaan. That was it. Take the land of Canaan, the promised land. However, there was an obstacle in their way. There was a wall, an unconquerable wall, a stone wall that stood 11 feet tall, 14 foot wide. In ancient warfares, such as cities were taken by assault or surrounded and the people starved into submission. It invaders might have tried to weaken the stone walls by fire or by tunneling through the walls. Or they might have simply heaped up a mountain of dirt to serve as a ramp. Each of these met- methods of assault took weeks or months and the attacking usually suffered heavy losses. The first strategy was laid out by God. The second strategy was simply foolish plan. God simply told Joshua to have the people to march silently around Jericho for six days. And then on the, after the seventh time, on the seventh day, to shout. That was it. To shout. That was it. Though it seemed foolish, Joshua followed God's instructions. When the people finally shouted, the massive wall collapsed. (laughs) That was it. The massive wall that stood 11 feet high and 14 feet wide collapsed. God has given the city of Jericho to them before they even marched around its walls. 
It was when the people of God, by faith, followed God's commandments, which made the wall fall. The Apostle Paul tells us in Romans 15, 4, for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and encouragement of Scripture we might have hope. This tells me one thing, that God keeps His promise. The walls of Jericho didn't fall because Joshua walked around them. The walls of Jericho fell because God said they would. When 120 men and women gathered in the upper room, waiting on the promised power, the Bible said, suddenly there came a sound from heaven, like a rush of wind. That's all they heard. And it filled the house where they were sitting. There was a sound, suddenly clothed tongues as fire appeared on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost as God gave the utterance. Elijah spoke these words in a place and time where there had not been a drop of rain or dew on the ground in three and a half years. That may not mean something to some of you, but someone listen to my voice. Help is on its way. Help is on its way. How about you tell your neighbor, help is on its way. The answer is on its way. Your breakthrough is on its way. Your blessings is on its way. There's just something powerful knowing that help is on the way. It puts a fire inside of you and a fight in your spirit. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody that has prayed, that has fasted, and they have cried, and they have confessed the word of God, but nothing has changed. For some of you, it's gotten worse. But change is in the atmosphere. Because we hear a sound that change is coming. Restoration is coming. Healing is coming. Peace is coming. Joy is coming. How about you tell your neighbor the sound is a sign. Somebody's faith is about to go to the next level. Hmm. Some of you... Stuff that used to hinder you and pull you down. But after tonight, you're walking out of these doors changed. You're walking out of here changed. God's turning your morning into dancing. I wish somebody get excited. He had a For every miracle, for every breakthrough, for every son or daughter that has been delivered from drugs and alcohol, somebody has been praying for you. Somebody's praying for you. So if things aren't moving in your situation, maybe you need to check your prayer temperature. See, Elijah got himself in a birthing position. The Bible says, labored in prayer for what he heard in the Spirit. Keep on praying. Keep on praising. Keep on confessing God's Word. Keep on singing. Keep on dancing. Don't let the devil see you sweat. Because he's got you if he sees you sweat. Mm. Numbers 23, 19 tells us, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, nah, he's going to do it. Right here in this book, he's going to do it. Right here. 
Depression, right here. Alcohol, right here. Man, every time you pray, every time you pray, you're taking that step further. And you're pushing that devil backwards. See, Elijah had a servant. Elijah sent the servant out to sea seven times. Every time Elijah sent the servant out, what was Elijah doing? Elijah was praying because he knew what God had gave him in the spirit. See, the servant comes back with the news. Behold, there arise a cloud the size of a hand. That's what the servant saw. But you know what Elijah saw? Elijah saw abundance of rain, ground-soaking storm. Tell your neighbor all you need is a word. Because if you have a word, you can dance in a furry furnace. If you have a word, you can sleep like a baby in the lion's den. I'm done right now. I wish everybody could stand. I'm going to do something totally different. Because I believe that God, I'm not going to have the musicians come at all. Because I believe that they need miracles too. I believe that they're going to break down the walls in their life. Mm. Come on somebody, praise him. Praise him. I feel something shifting in the atmosphere. I feel it. Keep on praising. Keep on dancing. Go ahead, Brother Matt. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to break the walls down in our families. We're going to break the walls down in our life. That's what we're going to do right now. All you got to do is praise and worship. That's God, what God asked for. That's all he asks for. Come on, somebody. You got walls you need broken. Jesus said it. 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 Randy, you're breaking walls. You're breaking walls.
Just even one more bit. Make a sound where Charleston can hear it. somebody and pray in the Holy Ghost right now to be the king for the Lord of Lords is in this house. Apostolic power, apostolic ministry, apostolic anointing is in this house. That's it. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now.
Sister Sandy, the Holy Ghost is on her right now. Father, by the authority of your word and the power of the name of Jesus, loose her tongue right now. May the Holy Ghost fall on her right now. Our sister, she's going to get the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Carry people out of here! Yeah. 